cobblers uh, back to winning ways this afternoon. Yeah, nice to be in uh, back to winning ways. Uh, I think uh, you and James have mentioned a couple of times that uh, you know we hadn't had a win in uh, 2022. So uh, may have mentioned it a couple of times. Yeah, you may have, <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's good to get the win, and I feel that's still uh, three and a half performances really good in a row to be honest you know the second half of the Crawley game then Forest Green here um, Sutton away and and then to to play like we did in the first half I thought was was really good we played some good football really strong um, really pleased with it second half it was tough against the wind um, but we dug in and uh, you know to come out with a win uh, was really good and Salford despite the expensively assembled team created very little in the way of clear-cut chances Liam Roberts not called into action very often to make saves today you managed the game really well today yeah I felt the boys did and obviously we uh, we changed shape and closed it out at the end and good to get the new boys on and give them a taste of it I think that was really important make no bones about it they're a really good side you know and uh, they made some good acquisitions in their group, and uh, you know we we limited them at, uh, to many uh, to hardly any chances, as you say. So, which was really good, and good to be back to uh, us, really solid at the back, solid and strong, and moving the ball sharply, keeping the tempo high, pressing hard when we can, and uh, I felt that was uh, that was a strong strong performance from us today. You mentioned the the new boys there. You gave debuts to three. You started <coughs> with Kanu and then. Uh, Maglore and Epia uh, coming off the bench to, uh, to freshen things up. What are your thoughts on those three players' contributions today? Yeah, look, um, Idris will get better. Um, he hasn't played since November. That's his first game. He's been out in the Afghan uh, and he, he didn't get any minutes there, so he's only been training. So, you know, that, that was really tough for him, but we need to get him through in minutes. Um, Again, uh, Joshua Pye has only had 70 minutes in the last three months in 23's football because he's, he's had various things with COVID and stuff like that as well. And, you know, but I thought he came on and looked very sharp. But um, Tyler's had some good minutes uh, and uh, he came on and I thought Tyler, Tyler really helped us and, and, and looked strong out there. Yeah, and uh, all set up now for Tuesday. You're playing Barrow here in League Two. There's a chance you could go second with a win back to, to where you were before Christmas, potentially. Yeah, that'd be nice, but really it focuses on performance and how we play and, um, you know, facing the opposition. And, you know, I know, you know Mark Cooper and, and his teams play play really well. They play some good football. and. You know, Barrow have had a good cup run. It'll be a tough, uh, tough team to play. Although they're down there, they uh, they play really well. Now, John, last time I'm going to ask you this, that's a, a guarantee, but uh, the transfer window closes on, on Monday, January the 31st, but all sorts of rumours that there might be further additions to your squad before the window closes. What can you tell us about that? I'd certainly hope there is further additions. Um, we're working strongly to, to improve um, our squad and... Uh, you know, that's all I can really say on it, but there, there's work going in to make sure we can really uh, put a strong end to the season. Without pressing you too much on this, but how close <coughs> are you uh, to getting a body or two additional bodies in and specifically what kind of positions on the field to play? I that's think you'll know in the it. next two days, won't you, mate? So you won't have... I was uh, able to give you, you, you're going to give me an exclusive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll know in the next... <laughs> Uh, you'll know in the next two days, mate. And uh, look, we're working hard on it. We're working to get the right, uh, right blend for us, and uh, you know, players that will really improve us and make us strong towards the end of the season. But just talking about the ones you've brought in, the three that debuted today, yep. they, they really freshened things up for you today. They, they brought a new energy, perhaps, to you, to uh, your look, side. Look, um, you know, I'd rather focus on uh, the lads that have been with us have done brilliantly well. Uh, you know, first and foremost. What we do need is is a bit of lift, a little bit of freshness, a bit of power and pace uh, added to the sides in in the top line, and uh, you know that 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 showed today. And obviously in the back line, that Tyler came on and helped, and he's got extreme pace. And uh, look, it's just important to help the group. And um, you know, I think with uh, maybe one, maybe two, Tim uh, more. We will see. Thank you, John. Mm. Thank you for your time.